Bradley, uh, good to speak to you this evening. It, we know it's an awful case, and it, it's hard, isn't it, to underestimate, to even think about what this little boy went through. Hi, Dan. Well, yeah, to give you a real sense of how distressing this case is, the judge has excused the juries from taking part in jury service ever again for the rest of their lives due to how distressing and awful this particular case has been. But today, that jury found Finley's parents guilty of murder. They will be sentenced on the 26th of May. It's been an emotionally difficult trial, this, listening to months of harrowing evidence. And I think particularly those details uh, surrounding the injuries that were inflicted on Finlay, that will be difficult for anyone in that courtroom to forget for many, many years. Only 10 months old, Finlay Bowden spent his first and last Christmas in the hands of paramedics. He was removed from his parents' home just days after being born, placed into care he seemed a lovable and happy baby. But on the 17th of November in 2020, Finlay was allowed to live permanently with his parents. During that same year, on the 24th of December, during the coronavirus lockdown, this CCTV footage captures the moment Finlay was last seen in public. He died on Christmas Day. It was here in Chesterfield where Finlay Bowden suffered a cardiac arrest at his family home. It had only been 39 days since he was placed back into his parents' care by social services. But then in the early hours of Christmas Day morning, paramedics arrived at the sounds of his mother shouting and screaming and her baby without a pulse. These pictures show the environment that this 10-month-old baby was living in. It was described by a doctor as extremely dirty and very cluttered. A paramedic said it smelt of cannabis. A post-mortem examination found Finlay with 71 bruises and cuts over his body, 57 bone fractures and two burns on his left hand. His parents were responsible for what the court heard was the savage and brutal murder of their son after burning and beating him in repeated acts of violence. It's horrific what has happened to what was a, a defenceless 10-month-old baby. Only his skull and his left arm didn't have fractures. The details surrounding this case has been hard to digest. He was just a baby. How could you do that to a baby? <laughs> But I look at her. It, we weren't much older than her, really. How could you do that? Finley Bowden lived a short and tragic life. He could have had a bright future ahead. But instead, this innocent 10-month-old fell back into the wrong hands. It really is horrific, isn't it? Um, let's speak again to Bradley. Because listening to that, many of our viewers, Bradley, will think it, it sounds very tragically familiar. What happens next? Well, despite today's verdict, there are still some big questions to be answered. Mainly, why was Finlay returned to his parents in the first place? And could have social services done anything more to protect him? Well, today, Derbyshire County Council said in a statement that Finlay's death is a tragedy and our heartfelt sympathy goes out to everyone who knew and loved him. We continue to be fully engaged with the Derby and Derbyshire Safeguarding Children Partnership, which has commissioned a local child safeguarding practice review which looks in depth at the role of all agencies following the death of a child now this case has certainly shocked people inside and outside the courtroom finley who only lived for just 10 months and 11 days experienced such a short life that his murder trial lasted nearly half of that time